to address on supercharging personalized medicine with decentralized AI. And we have with us Dr. Ben Godzel, CEO Singularity Net. Well, Ben is the CEO and founder of Singularity Net, a project combining artificial intelligence and blockchain to democratize, uh, to democratize access to artificial intelligence. He was a director of research of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute. He's also a chief scientist and chairman of the AI software company, Nova Mente LLC, chairman of the OpenCog Foundation and an advisor to Singularity University. Well, he's also the chief scientist of Hanson Robotics, the company that created Sophia the robot. So firstly, thank you so much, Dr. Ben, for joining us today. Well, thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, be here and uh, and speaking at, at at the summit, and uh, an honor to be uh, following up such a such a fascinating panel. So yeah, I've been you know in the AI field for thirty plus years doing artificial general intelligence research and AI applications, and I've been in, in the blockchain space since. 2017 and really really before that more 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 quietly doing technology experimentation so we've with our project singularity net that we founded in 2017 we we launched this blockchain based decentralized ai ai platform i mean that that's in a fairly advanced beta version now where anyone in the world can put an ai out on the platform and have it provided services to anyone who who wants those services and can then be paid for those services in the AGI token, which is an ERC-20 token, the native token of the platform. And the AIs that are in the Singularity Net platform can also talk to each other, outsource work to each other, buy services from each other, rate each other's reputation, cooperate in, in solving problems. So I, I, I think uh, we're looking at this as a new way to connect AI developers with, with AI users and also a way to create a sort of self-organizing global brain of AIs communicating and, and cooperating with each other. Of course, there's a long way to go to get traction for this sort of decentralized approach to AI. The AI world is still dominated by big tech companies, but at least, uh, you know, we're we're making progress. We've launched some great software out there, and we're we're now now in the process of, you know, putting more and more cool AI on this decentralized platform and building up traction from third-party developers and and users. And what I'm going to talk about today is not so much the decentralized blockchain-based AI platform because that's old news. That's there. It 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 already works. It, it it's great. What I'm going to talk about today is some of the particular work we're doing with this decentralized AI platform with an aim toward both doing good for humanity and the world and building usage of, 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 of the platform. I mean, the AGI token is a utility token. It's used right now on the platform for buying and selling AI services, but we, you know, we need to get the degree of utilization more and more for the system to really realize that its potential. And what one of the areas in which we're working to drive utilization of Singularity Net platform is bioinformatics and, and longevity biology. And we we've already put a bunch of interesting AI doing genomic data and annotation and recognizing patterns in genomic and clinical medical data, put a bunch of bio AI on the Singularity Net platform, but we're also collaborating with a number of experts in the genomics and medical research domain to launch a project called Rejuve, which is a spinoff of the Singularity Net Foundation, the organization that has launched a Singularity Net platform. And Rejuve is specifically oriented toward using AI deployed on the blockchain-based Singularity Net platform to help with longevity medicine, to help with uh, curing disease and, and prolonging human life, but in a way that's decentralized in, in, in nature so that it, 
it is taking medical data from people in a way that respects data privacy and data sovereignty, analyzing the, the data from people's bodies using the decentralized network, and then any therapies that are discovered from people's biomedical data, the, the rewards from that discovery are distributed through the decentralized network. So I'm going to now go through this in a more in-depth way. I mean, just as AI and blockchain have been developing very rapidly, so has biotech and so, so has medicine. And I think we now have the core technologies needed to cure aging and in, ensure that, you know, the, the plague of involuntary death is, uh, is, is a thing of the past, just like smallpox is now, now a thing of the past. And what's unfortunate is progress toward realizing this potential for ending disease and abolishing death using modern AI, bioinformatics, gene therapy, stem cell therapy, a whole host of emerging biotechnologies. This is slowed down by economic and industry structure issues. I mean, most data about human bodies is stuck in the in the proprietary, you know, databases of, of pharmaceutical companies, which are working mostly on repurposing already approved drugs for new indications rather than on making uh, radical new discoveries. And already with some of our open cog neural symbolic AI deployed on Singularity Net platform, we've been making some quite interesting discoveries regarding the biology of, of longevity. I mean this this graph shows some sort of basic findings about the DNA of people who live 105 years or over. They just, they have a huge amount more genetic variations than, than normal people. And if you look at very long-lived flies, they also have a lot more genetic variations than ordinary flies. And, you know, this is found using OpenCog's Moses AI tool, which is in a, an AI service running on the Singularity Net decentralized platform and we can then look at you know the ai can find specific logical rules explaining which variations in a, in someone's dna helps their body to live to to 110 years or over now this in itself just tells you how likely you are to live really long based on your dna but the next step is you can use crispr and other gene therapies or you can use combinations of, of drugs or herbal medicines to target the genes and proteins that the AI has identified. And the gene annotation service, which is running on the Singularity Net platform, this lets you take the results of DNA analysis, for example, DNA analysis of people age 105 or over, as, I, as we've been working on, and as I showed in the last couple of slides, it lets you visualize all the different biological pathways and, and components there. And, this AI is out there on Singularity Net platform for anyone to use. Anyone can upload their own DNA data. If you got your DNA sequence in 23andMe or some other servers, you get a file with your DNA in it. You don't. You can upload it in, in Singularity Net, and you can use blockchain-based AI to better understand your own genome, just as, as researchers can use that to understand a whole bunch of different people's genomes. So. You know, we, we have a lot of amazing AI and biotech tools. And as I emphasized already, a lot of what is slowing down our progress toward radical longevity. I mean, by historical terms, we're progressing rapidly. I mean, we, CRISPR gene therapy just came out a few years ago, and now it's already being used for some eye diseases, for example. Stem cells, you know, we're making huge progress on stem cell differentiation and, and trans differentiation. We can prolong tissues with stem cell injections. I mean, by historical standards, things are going fast, but they could be going much faster if the medical ecosystem were not were not so bogged down in inertia and in the, the conservative and archaic research and, and data management and data ownership methodologies of, of big pharma companies and, and government agencies. I mean, the, all the data being said by pharma companies comes from individual humans' bodies, from your body and my body, yet we're not in control of what's done with, it, with, that, with that data. We could be in principle, but it's hard to get a hold of your, your medical records, and most people don't have the knowledge or wherewithal 
to direct their medical records to the the best research projects, right? They're all sucked up in 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 pharmaceutical companies, which are using very old fashioned methods to analyze everybody's data. So I mean, if the pharma company sucked up all our medical data and we're then doing maximally maximally brilliant things to prolong our lives with it, cool. But the pharma companies have sucked up all our data and they're analyzing it and utilizing it in very slow paced and, and archaic ways. We need to get control of our own data so that we can then put our data out there on decentralized AI networks like Singularity Now, where AI developers all around the world can deploy the most advanced possible tools to, to crunch that data. And precision medicine is one key application here. I mean, there's been research papers on this for decades. You, you don't need to be giving the same drug or the same gene therapy to everyone for, for, for the same disease. Rather, you can look at the genomics of the individual and you can understand which therapy will work best for that individual based on their own biological makeup. Pharma companies have been very, very bad at developing this, but you know, the science is, is there, the AI is there. It's clear how to do it. You just gotta get the data out of the hands of the pharma companies and into the AI, which can then deliver benefit for everyone. And we're, we're working in Singularity Net now with a group that's doing COVID-19 clinical trials and, and, and looking at different cocktails of antivirals for different patients. And we're using our AI to determine based on the genomics of a COVID-19 patient, which combination of antivirals will, will best help them. But I mean, COVID-19 is just one application. We should be doing this for, for every single disease and the knowledge is there to do it, but the folks sitting on the data aren't progressing fast enough. And so this, uh, this is how we've architected the rejuve ecosystem. I mean, the notion of the rejuve ecosystem is every member of the rejuve network can upload medical data about themselves. So they can upload it directly from, you know, answering questions on their phone or from medical peripherals attached to their phone, like a, a Fitbit, a thermometer, a, a, a pulse oximeter, a spirometer to measure your breath. You can upload data about yourself through your phone. You can also upload your medical records that you obtain obtained from your from your doctor. And then based on your medical data that you, you've uploaded, this data goes into an AI commons, which is secured and anonymized and analyzed by Rajuv's AI. Now, for each bit of medical data that you contribute to the Rajuv data commons, you get some, some Rajuv points. And when new therapies are discovered based on Singularity Net AI analyzing the data that was uploaded into the Rajuv data commons, when new therapies are discovered, if there's financial proceeds from that, they're allocated to everyone who got Rajuv points for uploading, uploading their data. So, I mean, initially, the Rajuv points are a non-liquid token. They're not traded on exchanges at first. They're just more like frequent flyer miles, like reward points you get for, for uploading your data. But... We want to follow a progressive decentralization methodology, and there's a potential to make these a liquid token connected to the Singularity Net AI token. You know, once we get more more traction on the on the Rejuve network. So, from a business model standpoint, we've uh, we've divided this into two pieces. There's the Rejuve network, which is the decentralized community of Rejuve points holders who are getting Rejuve points for uploading their medical data. And there's Rejuve Technology, which is a, is a corporation that's developing therapies based on, based on the data from Rejuve Network members. And the AI, which is doing the discovery based on all this data, which is generating the revenue to be given back to the Re Rejuve members who have gotten points for the data, this AI is all running in the Singularity Net decentralized AI network. And we've got some really cool secret sauce there. I mean, we're doing deep neural nets, we're doing logical reasoning, we're integrating them together into what you call neural symbolic AI in the OpenCog AI platform, which is running on Singularity Net. And anyone who wants to dig further into the AI side, we're actually, we're organizing a two day conference, which was today and tomorrow called OpenCog Con, the, the Open OpenCog event. Today, we were talking all about application of neural symbolic open cog AI specifically to bioinformatics and to cancer and, and COVID 19 and, and longevity. Uh, tomorrow's open cog con sessions are on more fundamental improvements to the, the reasoning architecture. But 
once we've got the data into our AI, like open cognitive neural nets running on singularity net, we can do a lot of things. And the data can be gotten in from medical reports. We're also launching a series of uh, series of apps which can help members to get their data into the singularity net and reduce data comes. So there's a smart fasting app for anyone who's doing intermittent fasting for health or 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 weight loss where you're uploading data about your body and how your fast is is proceeding and what you're eating and there's a there's a COVID app which should be launched on the the apple app store soon which you know it it gives you information about your COVID risk based based on the medical peripherals you have attached to your smartphone and your answers to different questions and information about your lifestyle and it can even identify you know if you have a fitbit and a digital thermometer this can use our AI running on Singularity Net decentralized platform to detect if you have an infection a few days before you show any symptoms. So we can detect pre-symptomatic COVID infection using AI-based signal processing on data for medical peripherals plugged into your smartphone in a purely decentralized and, and anonymous way. And this can help the individual. We're also using this to help evaluate the effectiveness of different COVID-19 management policies. So like, how useful is it actually to restrict class size in school? How useful is it to restrict restaurants to 25% versus 50% capacity? These, these questions can be resolved using intelligent agent-based modeling techniques running on Singularity Net decentralized AI platform using, among other things, data that comes from people using the Rejuvat running on Singularity Net platform. And, you know, we We've been making amazing use of the wonderful decentralized AI and blockchain community together with Ocean Protocol and the Decentralized AI Alliance. Singularity Net organized a hackathon, the COVIDathon, Decentralized AI for COVID hackathon, with over 1,000 participants hacking code on Singularity Net, Ocean Protocol, and, and other, other blockchains using decentralized AI to help with COVID in, in, in different ways, including testing and tracking, assessing symptoms from basic various signals and and doing modeling of, of COVID spread. And we had a an, actually an online event on uh, agent-based simulation modeling for COVID-19, which you could find the record of on, on, on YouTube. So that, that wraps up the specifics of what I had to say. You can find out more about Rejuve on the website rejuve.io, more about Singularity Net on singularitynet.io. You can look up a COVIDathon to find out about the dozens of amazing projects that the thousand plus developers who signed up for our, our, our COVID uh, decentralized AI hackathon, all the amazing things they delivered. And I think this, uh, you know, it's kind of a special topic with respect to a blockchain event. But the point I want to make is, you know, this is not just about building infrastructure code anymore. Like we've been there, done that. We built the Singularity Net protocol. It allows a bunch of AIs to network together in a decentralized way using using the using the blockchain, using a variety of different AI techniques, cooperating together. Now it's about getting traction, getting more AI on the network, and and using this decentralized AI network to do cool things and, and important things like precision medicine, early detection of COVID infections, uh, agent-based modeling of, of disease spread, and, you know, understanding of each person's body to help discover therapies that, that, that will help, uh, you know, mitigate age-associated disease and, and conquer the plague of involuntary death. And we're, we're doing that now using our blockchain-based AI tools. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Bennett. It was incredible having you in the World Blockchain Summit once again. Well, thank you. Thank you.